Hi guys and welcome to Terminal Velocity. Today I'm going to just be talking about some of my predictions uh, for 2021 in gaming. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you like my content. First off, we're going to be talking about some games that are confirmed for next year. These games include Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury, which would be pr do pretty well, first party title, as well as Bravely Default 2 by Square Enix, and Monster Hunter Rise by Capcom. This also includes games such as Apex Legends on the Switch, Persona 5 Strikers, Ghosts and Goblins Resurrection, Spelunky 1 and 2, Dynasty Warriors 9, Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga, Monster Hunter Stories 2, and Hitman 3 on the Switch. Next up, we have anniversaries that will be happening next year for game series. First of all, we have Zelda's 35th anniversary, uh, which I think they're probably going to come out with a Skyward Sword HD and a uh, Triforce collection that includes... Ocarina of Time 3D, uh, Twilight Princess HD, and Wind Waker HD. Next year, we also have Dragon Quest's 35th anniversary. Uh, for, for this, I think they're probably going to make remakes of Dragon Quest 4, 5, and 6, similarly to what they did with 1, 2, and 3 earlier on the Switch. And also, I think they might release a... Uh, uh, Western release of Dragon Quest Heroes 1 and 2 on the Switch. There's also Metroid's 35th anniversary next year. And for this one, I think there's a really, really high chance that they're going to come out with the Metroid Prime trilogy on the Switch. And also they might remake uh, The Return of Samus on the Switch as well. Next year we also have uh, the Pokemon 25th anniversary which will likely include some sort of Pokemon uh, collection, likely being red, uh, a collection of red, Pokemon Red, Pokemon Pearl, and Pokemon Black. And there also might be a Sun and Moon or Ultra Sun and Moon remake for the Switch. Next year, we'll also have the Sonic the Hedgehog 30th anniversary. And I think for this, there's probably going to be a Sonic Colors remake for the Switch. And there might also be a Sonic the Hedgehog like collection thing, but I don't know what games would be in there. Next is Halo's 15th anniversary. This isn't necessarily Nintendo related, but uh, they're coming out with Halo Infinite. And they might also add uh, Master Chief to Smash Bros. There's also Kid Icarus's 35th anniversary. And I think there's a really high chance that they're going to come out with uh, Kid Icarus Uprising for the Switch. There's also Animal Crossing's 15th anniversary. And I don't think there's going to be that much other than like a big uh, New Horizons update. They might also do a remake of another Animal Crossing game. But I feel like that's really unlikely due to the success of New Horizons and how it came out last year. Also, Castlevania's 35th anniversary is, is next year. And I think that uh, they'll probably come out with uh, Castlevania Lord of Shadows 1 and 2 uh, like collection for the Switch. Next, we're going to be talking about potential Nintendo Switch Online virtual console. First up, we have the N64, which is the most likely one, being the next home console. And this will probably feature games like Mario, uh, Mario Kart 64, uh, Majora's Mask, Diddy Kong Racing, GoldenEye 007, Banjo-Kazooie, and stuff like that. We also have the Game Boy Advance uh, Switch Online, which is also fairly likely if the N64 doesn't happen. And that would probably have like Mario Advance, uh, Minish Cap, uh... And Mario Kart Super Circuit and kind of games like that. And it also might feature for the first time Mother 3, which is having its 15th anniversary next year. So it would make sense to translate it and release it to Western audiences over the Nintendo Switch Online. 
The third option that's not as likely as the other ones is a Game Boy slash Game Boy Color online. Or they could just do normal Game Boy. But for the the games are probably going to be like Mario Land, Mario Land 2, the Oracle games, Kirby's Tilt and Tumble, Dragon Warrior Monsters, Pocket Bomberman, Mario Tennis, and the Donkey Kong Land series. Next up we have my predictions. These are things that haven't been announced yet, but I feel like will probably happen next year. Uh, first up, I think Fall Guys is going to come to the Switch and Xbox One. Also, maybe Breath of the Wild 2 will come out next year, but I feel like that's a little more likely for early 2022. Also, I think Metroid Prime 4 will probably be out for holiday 2021. As well as Bayonetta 3 may be coming out late summer next year. We can also uh, speculate about potential DLC that will come out next year. Uh, Age of Calamity seems like it will very likely have DLC, including characters such as Suga, Aster, Pura, and Rabi. And also Immortals Phoenix Rising is going to have a bunch of big DLCs. And Mario Kart 8 Deluxe might have some DLC, including some new characters like Funky Kong. And having new courses such as Coconut Mall or Waluigi Pinball coming to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Uh, also, for some other stuff that might happen next year, I think Nintendo might go back to having Nintendo Directs somewhat regularly and announcing games that way. And also, I think there's a pretty good chance that the Switch Pro will come out next year as a, um, to continue the Switch's lifespan. Or at the very least, a new color variant of the Switch Lite will come out. So what do you think? Do you think 2020 will be a good year for Nintendo and the Switch? Or will it be a relatively non, not a good year for uh, Nintendo and the Switch like this year? What? Uh, tell me in the comments below and be sure to like and subscribe. And until next time, I hope you have a happy new year.